Wake up with Matt in the morning. Hey, thanks for waking up with me. My name is Matt and this is Matt in the morning. And today we're making red, white, and blueberry dessert. This I'm super excited for. We have Cool Whip, we have strawberries, we have blueberries, we have graham cracker crust. One thing I wanted to do, but I don't have time to do, so I'm not is after making the graham cracker crust, I wanted to put it in the smoker, put a little sm bit of smoke flavor on it. We'll do it next time. Anyways, first and foremost, a big shout out to Lisa out in Chico, California. Uh, this was actually, I saw this on her, she posted this recipe um, and it looked delicious. And I said, I'm getting all the ingredients and I'm making it. Uh, Lisa um, has also hooked me up with a recipe. Uh, she's from Finland and there's a, as a dessert, bleh, I can't talk. There's a dessert out there that she had grown up as a kid and uh, it sounded delicious. She sent me the recipe and I still have yet to do that. I'm a little nervous about it, but we're gonna do it one day here. So anyways, Lisa, thank you for sharing this recipe. I'm super excited about it. Um, yeah, let's just get right down to it. So down below, step one, the graham cracker crust. It is two and a half cups of graham crackers, which comes out to be about 26, 27, rectangles. Uh, get them all crushed up. Some of mine are a little bit big. I should have crushed them up a little bit more. If you have a pr food processor, that'll work too. Um, what all we're going to do is take 12 tablespoons of melted butter, unsalted butter, pour it in and mix it up, and then we're going to throw it in our pan. I already have the butter melted, so let's just get to it. We're going to mix this up real good. And 12 tablespoons is a stick and a half, at least the sticks that I have. Because mine are eight a piece. I got my gloves on because I'm thinking doing it with the fork isn't going to work. And I was correct. So we're just going to get in here and mix it up. Um, if you were, let's say you're doing keto, there is other, well, if you're doing keto, you're probably just not doing this dessert. Let's be honest here. But let's say you are, there is keto alternatives for graham cracker crust. I just thought about, as I was saying that though, I was thinking, well, wait a minute, we have Cool Whip in here. We got sugar gonna be getting mixed in with the cream cheese. What is keto is fruit and cream cheese berries I should say not all fruit is keto so I, you get this good and kind of mixed in here you kind of see that's kind of the consistency you want you want to be able to firm it up don't want it just falling apart all we're going to do now is put it in a 9 by 13 and spread it out and I did spray it with uh, some non non non-stick spray I cannot talk today Listen, it's been a long weekend. It's been hot out. I don't do good in the heat. It's summertime. More of a wintertime person. So, all I'm going to do with this graham cracker crust, smash it down, get it good and firm, and then we're going to jump to the next step. So. I'm just going to finish mashing this down and I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, the next step after we get the crust down there is we're taking two sticks of cream cheese. We're taking a half cup of confectioner sugar. Confectioner? Confectioner? Anyway, sugar. Mixing that in with it and also a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're going to get these beaters on it get it all mixed in here right so let's go ahead and get that going and here we go okay so there we go here is the cream cheese sugar and vanilla extract mixed next up we're going to do two tubs of cool whip now, you can make your own Cool Whip if you want. We're not gonna do that. We're going Cool Whip. Quick, 
easy to the point. Just using two tubs, extra thick, cool whip. Some people might say, oh, you're cheating. Simplicity, people. I'm about simplicity. So I'm just gonna, and you wanna do this by hand. Don't wanna get the mixer out on this one. So for this one, I'm just gonna dump the, both these tubs of the extra thick Cool Whip into here. I'm gonna mix this up, and then we're just gonna layer this thing. And I just realized I wasn't supposed to put all of the graham cracker crust into the base. I was supposed to set aside three tablespoons to sprinkle on top. So, luckily I have more graham crackers. So, I'll just crumble up a few more and sprinkle them on top. So yeah, so let's back up. Once you do your crust, once you get the butter and the graham crackers mixed, set some aside for the topping. Jeez. A hot mess today it's been it's been in the 90s here I just I don't do well with the heat I know I know I lived in the south for 13 years I don't like the heat people so now we're just gonna mix this up you should use a bigger spoon mmm that's gonna be good sorry not Woo wee this is looking good I'm getting excited anyhow Let's go ahead and layer this thing. I may or may not have jumped ahead and did the first layer. I wanted to see how easy or not easy it was to spread, and uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. It does look like I'm gonna have extra of this Cool Whip topping, but. So now what you wanna do, this is where you gotta be extra careful because you don't want you don't want to end up mixing the layers, right? So you want to carefully spread out the next layer of fruit. Man, I just don't think my 9 by 13 is going to be tall enough. It seems like we have an aggressive amount of goodness. Going to find out. Going to find out. So, there we go. We got it down there. Just want to carefully, carefully, carefully try not to put pressure down on it because again, I don't want to, I don't want to disturb that first layer. Lisa, I don't know if you've made this or are going to make it or you haven't made it. I don't know, but this is a good one. So now that I do that, I'm going to do another layer, take another third or so of the Cool Whip. This is just where you gotta be super careful because if you go pushing this too hard, you're just gonna end up mixing it all up. I'm sure it'll be just fine if you mixed it all up. It's not gonna taste bad, let's be honest. But when we're going for layers, you just, it's that presentation, you know? If you if you got people coming over, you want it to look right. You want people to say, oh my gosh, Look at this red, white, and blueberry dessert you made, Lisa. This looks delicious. And she's gonna say, of course. So, at this point, you're just going to very carefully and slowly, so I'm not gonna bore you with the spreading it out part, because this is gonna take me a minute. I'm just gonna carefully spread it, that's it. I'll bring you back, we'll plop another layer on. Okay, got the layer on there. It's not perfect, but we got it. Listen, blueberry time. Hey, and if you don't like blueberries and you don't like strawberries, do something different. Do whatever you want. Raspberries, peaches. I mean, do whatever. You know, there's people that don't necessarily like blueberries. That's fine. Listen, you can see I'm kind of spreading out my dollops a little more. I'm just wanting it where it's less spreading, where it's, I'm pushing less on these layers. Because I don't want these layers to get messed up. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Again, it's a 21 ounce can of uh, pie filling. I think that's all pretty standard in the baking section. I'm just going to kind of spread this thing out nice and easy. Then we're going to put the last layer on. And I am not going to put my fruit topping on 
until the morning. So, see? That's what you want to avoid. Pushed a, I pushed a little too hard, and I pulled up some of that layer from below. That's why you got to careful, careful, careful. I mean, at the end of the day, whatever, right? But I always just try to think, well, what if this was in a food competition? I mean, it's not, but what if it was? Plus, I definitely wouldn't enter a food competition making something for the first time. That's what this one here is. Like I said, I was just flipping through the old Facebooks before we left our campsite this morning. And I was like, what is this deliciousness that she is posting? She posts some good food stuff. I'm thinking after the, the Finland dessert, when I finally make it, I need to find out, need to ask her what more Finnish food is out there that we can try out. Finnish food? Is that what they say? I don't know. Okay. Anyways. Boom. Next, I'm going to do the last bit of Cool Whip topping. This one's making me a little nervous, though, because this blueberry topping seems to want to spread, seems to want to mix in a lot easier than that strawberry. I'm just going to do the best I can. And then we're going to put some graham cracker crumbs on top. Sure do wish I would have saved three, four, five tablespoons out of the original mix. But again, I'm just going to carefully spread this. This is going to take me like an hour to do it. So not really, but hey, I'll be right back. So look, as you can see, I didn't go all the way to the edge with it because this blueberry, as I was trying to carefully spread it, it was trying to roll up on me. Um, and I really didn't want the, the layers to mix because I want this to come out as layered as possible. We'll see what it looks like when we cut into it. Look, Lisa, I hope I'm not letting you down on this one. Um, presentation wise, flavor wise, we know it's gonna be there. I just wish I would have had time to smoke the crust. I think that would have added with a nice, like an apple wood or a cherry wood. Um, I think that would have added a nice little flavor note to it. God, can't do it now. Anyways, so. Again, when you make your crust, keep some graham crackers out after you mix it. Now we're here and I'm just gonna have to spread some out. And in the morning, I'll top it off with some uh, fruit. Yes, I washed my hands. Well, you don't have flat on. I know, I washed my hands. Boom, there we go. Hey, I'm gonna cover this thing, throw it in the fridge in the morning. I should wait for everybody to get here, but listen, in the morning I'm throwing some ribs on, I'm doing some smoked queso. <sighs> Might just have to cut a piece for breakfast. We'll see how I feel. Anyways, I'll be back. All right, and here we go. The red, white, and blueberry is done. As you can see down below, I did not wait to show you right when I cut into it. Um, yeah, so we had our little family get together with my wife's cousin Chad, his wife Emily, and Jack and Gabe. Boom. Red, white, and blueberry. This thing was a hit. There we go. Layers kind of oozed out. Here you can see the layers. Graham cracker, our Cool Whip. You know, strawberry, Cool Whip. Blueberry, Cool Whip. Graham crackers. I added some fruit on top. See down in the GoPro. Just kind of jazz it up. Strawberries there. This is a... That's a good presentation too. That looks good. Um, and this was real good. As you can see down below, it, a lot of it got gone. So this is a good go-to recipe. Actually, um, I think it was Gabe that was here was like, oh, asking his mom, oh, could you make this? Um, so I'm gonna have to send the recipe over that way. Uh, the only thing I did do, I should do differently next time, is I really compacted the graham crackers. When I put the graham cracker crust in after mixing it with the butter, I really pressed down. I was like, oh, I need to get a good solid crust around here. And a little too much. When it went to cut it out, you really had to, uh, you had to get a jackhammer in there to get it out. So don't be as aggressive as I was with smashing down your crust. You might say, I already know that, that's fine. Anyways, so there we have it. Red, white, and blueberry. Lisa, thank you for uh, posting this recipe. It was delicious. If you haven't made it yet, you should. 
The only thing differently I'll do next time is once I get the graham cracker crust in place, I'll actually throw it on the smoker for like 20, 30 minutes um, just to get some smoke on it. Or I guess you could do it before even putting it into there. I guess once you have the graham crackers mashed up and mixed in with the butter, you could do it then too. But I do want to add some smoke to this next time. So anyways, there you have it. Red, white, and blueberry. Um, it's delicious. I would highly recommend it. Just don't pack your graham cracker crust like I did. And be sure to add fresh uh, fruit on top of it on the side to go with it. That's a game changer there. So anyways, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, share it, all the above. I'll see you next time.